Yo, what's really good, YouTube? It's your boy Boss back at it again with some straight beastly gameplay on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This time we on the map Riot. We got the game mode Team Deathmatch, and today was actually my first day playing Team Deathmatch, and this is crazy. But before we get into the gameplay, I got some amazing gameplay for you guys. Before I, before we get into that, though, let me get over my class setup real quick. I'm using an IMR, the best, uh, the the best gun in the game, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I love this gun. And here's the thing, right? I had just unlocked the IMR, and I had no attachments on it and anything. And in this gameplay, I have no attachments on it, so I'm using straight booty butt naked IMR, and I went ham in this gameplay, man. And it, it's just straight fire, you know. Team Deathmatch, my first day playing Team Deathmatch, my first time playing Team Deathmatch. This is maybe around my third Team Deathmatch match of the day. I've been playing with my boy Alex, man. Shout out to you, bro. That's the guy's voice you hear in the background. He talking and shit. You know, he talking that bullshit in the background. Shout out to you, though, brother, man. Um, but anyway, I am my straight ham. I think my um, perks were blast suppressor. My my perks exactly are lightweight, uh, peripherals, toughness, and blast suppressor. Perk 3, I use the wild card. Perk 3, greed. Um, the EXO I had on was the trophy system. I actually never used it. And the entire gameplay, you guys are gonna see that. I never use the the exo ability. I never use my grenade. For some reason, when I'm playing, I always forget to turn on my exo ability, guys. And that's just the truth. I guess it just comes from not being used to having, you know, that ability in the game and always forgetting to use it. Now my score streaks I had on was a UAV. Now my setup for my UAV, I use um uh, assist points and support. I use support because even if you were to die. You still are able to get your UAV score streak, which is amazing. I use assist points because every time you get it, somebody else gets a kill with the, your UAV in the air, you actually get points towards your next score streaks. Now, I also use the orbital care package with um, the setup better odds and double tap where you can change the, the care package and you use double uh, better odds to get a better version of the care packs, like maybe um, an upgraded. They give you like an upgraded, the fully upgraded kill streaks you get, you know, missile strikes. Maybe a Warbird or even a Paladin. And I also use the XS1 Balkan with extra with an extra blast. Um, so I can use it twice. You guys are gonna see that in the gameplay. But anyway, man, we on Riot. Your boy went in. IMR, like I said, guys, now it, it, it's crazy because I didn't expect this to happen. I just was, you know, doing my thing. You know, I, I didn't go into the game or trying to to go ham. And I really didn't even realize I was on like a crazy kill streak until my boy told me it was like, yo. This fool was on a 15 kill streak, and I can't even get a kill. You know, that was the funny part, you know. And uh, then I realized it. Then I was like, "Damn, yo, maybe I can get a DNA bomb." But I looked at the score, and it ended up being like damn near, like um, impossible. Because once I was at tw like 27 and no, you guys are gonna see, it was only about five kills left in the game, and unfortunately, I had got some kills with my kill streak, so it wouldn't have been a DNA bomb. You know, maybe I'll drop a DNA bomb one of these days. But we'll see. You know, you never know. But this is by far my best gameplay and uh, so far on Advanced Warfare. Hopefully, I can get some better gameplay for you guys. And one thing I was I was curious about is I didn't unlock the nuclear metal. I thought 30 no would be a nuclear metal. But uh, instead, the metal I got is called Vicious. It was called Vicious, and, and the Vicious metal was 30 kills without dying. So um, I guess you have to get the nuclear metal with, with 30 gun kills. Like I said, I got about... I, I got a couple kills with... um. With I got several kills with my score streak, so maybe that that that's what went wrong there, and I guess that's what happens. And um, another thing is, guys, once you go thirty and zero, you get some crazy loot. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got at the end of this gameplay. You guys gonna see the 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 dope, the dopeness, like the straight fire dopeness that I unlock at the end of this gameplay, guys. I'm actually gonna make a separate video showing it off as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's video. As right here, you can see I got the ruthless metal for being twenty and zero. And um, basically, my strategy, I didn't really have a strategy, I guess, but what I'm doing for you guys to try it out is on Riot, is um, just get on, get up on the third floor of the prison and hold that top down. You see, I'm just holding the left side, the back prison side, and the right side down the entire game. No one, uh, I think maybe one or two people challenged me up here the whole, t whole time, but um, for the most part, I had the advantage over everybody, guys. So this is definitely a good strategy you guys may want to try out. To get, you know, going those big kill streaks and maybe even get a DNA bomb. I can only imagine if I was playing Ground War and I was able to get, you know, more kills. I probably would have got a DNA bomb. I don't play Ground War though, though. I may try it, you know, just to see how it works out. Maybe I can try this again and get a DNA bomb for you guys. 
So I'm definitely going to try that out, man. And uh, I'm looking forward to this, guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of my gameplay that I've been uploading daily, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I appreciate all the love and support from you guys. I hit 1,509 subscribers, if I'm not mistaken, man. That's... Woo! That... Oh, man. That's crazy, guys. I... <laughs> Going like I said, going from like a year ago having 200 subscribers, getting five views a video, you know, to where I'm at now, man, is a blessing. I really appreciate all the love and support from you guys, like 100%, man. And, you know, I'm on my YouTube grind. I'm on, I'm on my competitive grind. I'm trying, you know, you guys know, I'm on, I'm on my straight grind, trying to make it pro in the competitive scene. Just seeing if I like, I really enjoy the competitive scene. and I want to become a pro, so. Hopefully, with this hard work and dedication, I can make it there, you know, and hopefully, you know, things work out. So, but luckily, I got a great 1,509 people behind me supporting me, and, you know, that's all the motivation I need right there. So, I, I definitely want to I, I show my appreciation to you guys. Like I said, I'm going to do a big giveaway um, on my channel when I hit 2,000 subscribers, and trust me, guys, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, I'm not going to announce it yet, but you guys are going to want to stay tuned. You guys want to stick around. And those who aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that sub button so you can be involved as well, you know? But anyway, man, my favorite map is probably, well, it, it's it's really Detroit. I, I got three favorite maps. Riot is one of them, though. Riot, Detroit, and Retreat are my favorite maps of this game. And one thing about this game, though, guys, is it's not a map that I don't like, you know? So I like all the maps. It's not a, usually in, in Call of Duty. A map comes up in a rotation. I'm like, uh, no, I don't want to play that. Or back out, I don't want to play that map. Or skip that map, things like that. But it's not one map on this game I don't enjoy. And I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. This game, I mean, the game has its flaws. I'm not going to lie. Like, it is a, it is some connection issues in this game um, that, that really bugs me. So that's something that needs to be fixed. Um, I, don't have, I don't like how, like, everybody's complaining about the BAL. And I, I, I really don't feel like, you know... The BAL is that dominant or OP. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But here's all the unlocks I got, guys. I was trying to see what a nuclear medal was. These are all the medals I unlocked. And this is the vicious um, medal right here, as you guys can see. And uh, I'm going to show you guys the, the armor I unlock. Because what happens when you go 30 and 0, um, you unlock the, the entire bloodshed outfit. If you guys ever notice, if you want like a 5 kill streak or 10 kill streak, you got like the bloodshed helmet or the bloodshed gloves. You know what I'm saying? And once you go on 30 and 0, you get, this, get the entire bloodshed outfit as you can see right here i got everything and i'm going to equip everything so you guys can actually check it out i'm going to show you guys the exo the bloodshed exo as well which is dope and this is by far the best camo or the best outfit i've ever seen guys it is straight fire like this is sexiness at its finest guys like definitely check it out and if this is something that you guys want to go for i definitely recommend it because it's 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 a big reward and but the downfall about this is i heard you can only keep the armor for 30 minutes it's not permanently unlocked so if you want to unlock it again you have to go ham but once again as you can see guys this is the entire outfit right here then then bloodshed everything even the exo so i got i hope you guys went to enjoy the gameplay and if you did please smack that like button guys can we get 20 likes man that'd be amazing for the straight dominant gameplay man hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay if you haven't already please subscribe make sure you guys check out my other videos my previous videos from before stay tuned for tomorrow's up late upload it's your boy boss and that's my time. Peace.